Hello everyone, welcome to Shah the Cook. Today we are going to make jalebi. It is a very popular sweet in India and it is hot favorite during any kind of occasions. It is enjoyed thin and crispy or thick and juicy. It's very delicious and enjoyed by everyone. So let's see how to make this. For this, the ingredients we require 250 grams of all purpose flour or maida or about 2 cups of all purpose flour. 350 grams or about 2.5 cup of sugar, 2 tablespoons of ghee or clarified butter, 2 tablespoons of yogurt, 1.5 teaspoon of corn flour, about 1 4 teaspoon of baking soda, about a pinch of yellow food color, or you can even add turmeric powder, some saffron threads or kesar. For sugar syrup, we require about 1 and quarter cup of water. Okay, so let's start with the preparation of the batter. For that, we are going to take our all-purpose flour. To that, we are going to add yogurt, ghee, and now we are going to mix it well. And now gradually, we are going to add water and keep on mixing it. So keep on adding water until you get this required consistency. You can see. It's a nice thick consistency but it's flowy at the same time. Okay, so now we are going to just cover it and we are going to keep it to set for about 8 hours or overnight. So it's been about 8 hours and here is the batter. It has, we have kept it to rest for like 8 hours and it has fermented nicely and now let's proceed with further steps. So now next we are going to add in corn flour pinch of food color now we're gonna just mix it well make sure you mix it well and we're gonna whisk it for like five minutes you can even use egg beater for more convenience so after five to seven minutes it has got nice and fluffy and creamy now next we are adding baking soda and make sure that you add your baking soda only when you're ready to make it make your jalebis and mix it well so over here our batter is ready. Next we are going to make sugar syrup. So for that we are taking about 2.5 cup of sugar. 1 cup of water. And next quarter cup of water. So keep it on the flame. And let the sugar dissolve completely. And our sugar syrup will be ready when we will get one thread. So over here our sugar has dissolved completely. Next we are going to add in some saffron threads. For that nice flavor and color. Now we are going to keep it for more few minutes until it gets thick. Ok so it's been like more than 5 minutes. So we can just check it by taking a little bit of uh, the sugar syrup. Just take a drop of it. And careful it's very hot. Just take one drop. And just check like that. And you can see there is one thread coming. So it's done. Ok so batter is ready, our sugar syrup is ready, now we are going to start making jalebis. For that we are taking a plastic bottle like this which has a nozzle like this. So next we are going to just fill in the batter into the bottle. So we have filled it more than half way. We are going to cover it with the top and you can see the nozzle is very convenient for piping. Ok so next we are going to heat the ghee. Make sure that it's very very hot. And then lower the flame and bring it to the temperature where it's not too hot and not too cool. And now while making the jalebis, make sure that your flame is at low. And now very quickly, you need to make such circles for that jalebi. And now very quickly, flip them over. We don't want them to burn. And make sure you do everything very quickly because uh, it cooks very quickly. Okay, so now you can see it has got nice golden brown color. So directly remove it and dip it into the sugar syrup. And now we are making just another batch. Same way. And now we are just flipping it over again the same way. And you can see it has got a nice beautiful color. And just... Put it in the sugar syrup and let it sit for like about 2 minutes in the sugar syrup so that it soaks all the sugar syrup. 
so sugar syrup is all absorbed so now just remove it and you can see they are so looking nice and juicy so there you go our thick and juicy jalebis are ready and you can see they are looking so nice and so delicious they are truly a very tasty treat it has got a nice vibrant orange color you can see and looking really delicious you should definitely give it a try and let us know how does it comes out do subscribe and thumbs up this video if you liked it thank you so much for watching bye bye